Hello. Um, <clears throat> today, I wanted to talk about Videodrome. Um, I have it on Criterion Normal Blu-ray also. There's the 4K version uh, through Arrow. Um, um, uh, the long and the short of it is, if you haven't seen this film, I'm going to just give you the, <clears throat> the basic synopsis. Um, Videodrome uh, takes place in Canada, uh, Toronto specifically. I think Ontario, I believe. Uh, I mean, I watched this not that long ago, but, you know, just trying to recall exactly every... <laughs> well, I don't recall exactly if they do uh, say specifically. I think it is Ontario, uh, Toronto. Um, Toronto, Ontario. Anyway, my, my geographical uh, locations in Canada aside, uh, you know, the, the dude named Max, uh, played by uh, James Woods, um, uh, Max Wren, he uh, comes across this TV channel uh, broadcasting, like SNM type broadcast, which is sort of illegal. And, uh, you know, you know, it's called Videodrome. And, um, as things go, it turns out that this is real. What you see on TV, like people getting whipped and beaten and all these terrible things, it's all real. It's actually happening. And if somebody happens to die, well, then it's, it, it, well, they really died. So it would be like a snuff film at that point if such things happened. But, um, so, with that, uh, you know, he, he, uh, Max gets very uh, fascinated with Videodrome and then his interest, wants to try and get it and then broadcast it and everything. There, there's a lot of people who are you know, critiquing such uh, channels that broadcast such shows that are very, because it's a very, where he works, it's very adult-oriented uh, programming. And so it's like, this is just despicable and terrible. And Videodrome, you know, then becomes this terrible uh, thing that, you know, his, his girlfriend, uh, Nikki, then wants to be in Videodrome and find out where it is. In America, she goes in the, like uh, Michigan, uh, and so she wants to be on video drill, man. Yeah, it's just this film that's like a, it's a horror film and a science fiction film, like a, a sci-fi horror, but it's not very like slasher uh, type film. So there's, I mean, there is blood because you know people do die. Um, as the film goes on, you see a bunch of odd stuff happen. You know, S. Max is watching like tapes and stuff of video drone that he's able to get. A guy named Harlan was able to help get him access to stuff and also turn satellites to, to where he can get feeds from elsewhere. That's why we're able to find a video drone. You know, and he's he eventually gets this, he's scratching his stomach and then. His stomach opens up, and then he has, like, a gun, and then he puts the gun in there, and it's, like, it's just, it's, there you go. And it's inside of him, and then he's able to later get it out, but then it's, like, all fused with his hand and stuff, all fleshy also, and he then beats, like, this guy of this corporation who, you know, you know, wants Max to do things uh, for him and his organization and Videodrome and all this stuff. And it, it gets all, the, and all these, it's, it's a very interesting film. 
trying to explain it without giving the entire plot away is a bit difficult. Um, but I'm trying to be vague because I know there are people who watch my channel and have not seen a good number of the films I've talked about. And so I want to try and be as discreet as possible, but also try to paint as good of a picture as I can. Um, you know, people get killed in interesting ways. And so get back. Someone's head's like, or kind of, and just after getting shot, it's just like, it's, it's very interesting uh, to see uh, everything unfold the way that it does. Um, this is a film that, you know, it's directed by David Cronenberg, stars James Woods. I love D uh, James Woods. I think he's a great actor. He's amazing. I also like uh, David Cronenberg stuff. Um, I know for a fact David Cronenberg isn't going to probably be for everybody because, you know, some of his stuff is a little out there. Um, like this. Um, also, Scanners is one. Uh, I believe it's in the Criterion Collection also. Um, uh, he also made The Fly with Jeff Goldblum and Gina Davis, so that, I think that's probably like a bigger known film of his. I mean, I know Videodrome and Scanners ha definitely have their followings, but The Fly is the one that everybody definitely knows about. People absolutely know that film. Um, if nothing else, it's because it's a remake of that Vincent Price film. Uh, fly film from the 50s um but yeah this is a very good film i recommend it to anybody who has who likes sci-fi horror oddity stuff you know it's really it's a, you know on the back here it says bio horror yeah so because i got this uh arrow set it comes with this cool book that's the back. Long Live the New Flesh. Yes, by the end of the film, this will make sense if you haven't seen it. This is like gross. There's guts and stuff coming out of a television. But it does make sense. But yeah. There you go. There's the head exploding kind of thing that I mentioned. That's just lovely and great, I, I think. Brains coming out and everything. You know, I think that's a, a a lovely image. I don't know about you. And then there's a Beta Max tape because that's how they're able to view uh, some of the stuff. Uh, on your, you know, I uh, yeah. Young James Woods. drinking stuff but, uh, here we go there he is there he is with the gun yeah I've been becoming a pretty big fan of uh, <laughs> Arrow for some time now as you can tell Dream sequence. Yeah, this is a uh, early James Woods in his career, and then uh, of course the, the poster you can change in and out or back and forth of. It often comes with uh, Arrow films. Uh, and then uh, here's the back. This is definitely the poster I am more f uh, familiar with looking at. You know. First it controls your mind. Then it controls your body. 
And yeah, that is quite a uh, quite accurate to the film. Um, and then of course the stuff here with the, the actual case uh, has the reverse cover from this to this, which is partially why I kind of like to get arrow stuff with a come like this. That way I can just sort of like switch it out to have like a different kind of thing on the back. You know. This version has both the uh, uh, director's cut and the you know, U.S. theatrical cut but from everything. You know, it's like both run times are 89 minutes. It's just there's like basically like a few seconds here and there of uh, certain things kind of like hidden like a dildo in one scene is partially shown in the original R-rated cut, the you know, theatrical cut, but then, you know, in the director's cut, you're able to see it better. And then there's a few edge more uh, moments of blood and stuff uh, for some of the... Uh, some of the violent stuff, but overall, it's pretty, it's not all that bad, honestly. Uh, yeah, well, that's a nice uh, look of the, of James Woods' uh, you know, <laughs> like, chest and uh, chest and stomach, basically. Yeah, that's nice to look at. And of course, all of these cards have this on the back, so I'm not going to go through all that with you here. And yeah, here's some little cards. Do, 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 do. TV is talking to him. <laughs> uh, Nikki, yeah, Brand, Deborah Harry. Yeah. you uh seeing the movie you understand what all this stuff is if you haven't it's just a bunch of images and then back to this and uh the criterion version you know did i mentioned betamax uh, uh, criterion generally does not have stuff like this look like but the reason is because it's supposed to be like a Betamax tape. Even the side just says, yeah, Videodrome. So, yeah. Has little stickers and stuff that you would probably find somewhere on that. And then the disc, you know, will have a, a C and all that stuff. Yeah, just like a bunch of broadcasting stuff so yeah there you go this is a really cool uh, uh set or version of the film not really a set at all but just it's just very cool nice little essays uh yeah, some visuals of what i'm talking about i gotta censor that because i quickly saw oh there's something there well yeah. Just, uh, got a, yeah, there's De and there's a uh, David Cronenberg looking at the script. Probably wondering how the hell can I make this even odd, even more odd and weird, because you know why not? Why why, why wouldn't you? And uh, yeah. And that's really it for Videodrome. It's a very good film. And honestly, I actually meant to get this on Blu-ray a lot sooner than I did. 
through Criterion. Um, if it's one of those things where it's always it's on your mind, but then for whatever reason you just never get it, you know. I think that happens with a lot of people where they collect movies, they want to get something. For whatever reason, they always put it off, and by the time they get, they're like, "Why didn't I get this before?" Um, and for me, for this film, um, I had I, I believe I saw it at AMC once during one of their many uh, times where they have a whole lot of horror films. So they don't do that. Well, they still do, but they had more variety many years ago. I believe I saw it there, but I don't because if it's not AMC, I have no clue where I saw this on TV. Because I know I, it was edited. Because there's commercials, so I know that. But, uh... It's a good film, I think. I know people aren't totally into horror films. You know, particularly gory ones. But this is more psychological, if anything else. There's nothing really overtly gory and graphic. Even though there are moments where people do die in graphic ways. As you saw in that one little... A picture of the booklet but you know those aren't very frequent there aren't a whole lot of moments like that it's just that just does not happen throughout the whole movie um but yeah it's definitely uh, an interesting film it's definitely different definitely different if i could talk that'd be great but anyway um yeah that's really all i have to say there's nothing more i have to say about this film at all there's nothing more uh so i hope all of you are doing well hope all of you are having a great day and i hope you're all having a great week and i'll see you all next time